All right, guys, looks like we're going to have Listel and uh, T-Gen in our final here. Zerg versus Terran, the ace match on MLG Test Bug. And uh, I'm going to be co-casting once again with Rules of War, so... Yes, um, did Listel, Listel play T-Gen the first game, right? I believe so, yeah, so yeah, looks so, like we have a little little rematch here, Listel versus T-Gen. See if T-Gen can get revenge here. Yeah, that first game was on Daybreak. That was the game where Listel took the early lead and then just kept sending in uh, Zerglings and Banelings until he had Mutilus out. We do see uh, Listel spawning in the north of the map and T-Gen spawning in the southwest of the map. So yes. This is Test Bug, so of course it is a three-player map. Uh, I believe the only three-player map in our rotation. As, uh, the only other popular three-player map I know of is uh, Zelnaga Fortress, and I don't really see that in too many tournaments, and uh, not in our tournament. Interesting thing about this map that most players probably know, the three of the Zelnaga Towers are uh, covered by Destructible Rocks, yeah. and the center one is... Oh, Listel did not play T-Gen, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. He oh, played yes, VP he Street. Play Street. All right. Apologies. So. Thank you, Grant. <laughs> I appreciate I appreciate it. Let the record show that this is not a vengeful match. It's just a normal match. So, And also the uh, gold bases, uh, the three gold bases in the middle of the map, are also blocked by destructible rocks. Um, you can't mine at them until you break them down. So a, a lot of destructible rocks in this match. Dustin Browder would be proud. <laughs> so... Yeah. It's going to be a good match. A lot of destructible rocks. So, yeah. um, and so far for opening builds, we see Terran throwing down the barracks. Uh, Zerg is still just building drones. Uh, probably going to go for the fifteen hash if I had to guess. And this is a pretty big map. They are very far apart from each other. This is a hike across the map. So, maybe not as much early pressure in this game. Yeah, you know, this is this is actually one of my favorite StarCraft 2 maps, I have to say. Of all, of all the maps I've seen in tournaments, this is one of my favorite ones, and uh, hopefully Blizzard eventually puts a couple of three-player maps in the ladder pool, but... Um, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. We do see the uh, 15 hatch out of Listel, so that's nice. That'll yeah. be good to get the economic lead. And the refinery going down, probably going to see an orbital right after this worker finishes. Yeah. Pretty standard Terran play. And Listel is sticking with his same build of going hatch first, then extractor, and then spawning pool to uh, really get uh, speedings at as quick as possible after his fast expand. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a it's a No, nice it's spot. a good build. It's just, you know, if, if there's like a proxy two racks, then it's very vulnerable to uh, early pressure. It's very true, and we saw that in the other game, although he did hold it. Yeah, but this game is going to be no such thing. Well, uh, there's a bunker going down, but that's really just a fake, as uh, there's not even a marine heading right up. There's, yeah, the marine is still back in the base right now, so... Yeah, so this is obviously just a ploy to get him to pull some workers for a minute here. Yeah. There's no way this marine will make it in time. And Lissel's not overcommitting. He's going to get the SCV right here. And that will be the end of the bunker rush. <laughs> yeah, that marine might come all the way over, but if he does, to be honest, the drones might just kill him, so... Maybe not the best idea. We do see Overlord spreading out, getting some good vision in the early game. And it uh, looks like the factory tech's going to go down for Terran. So. Yep, so he's most likely um, going to be going to quick Hellions. Um, if he builds a reactor on that barracks, which he does have the space for, and the positioning for, then uh, he might have reactor Hellions. Otherwise, he might go for Blue Flame. Or who knows, maybe he just wants to pump a couple out of the uh, fact. Nope, nope, there goes the reactor. So it will be uh, reactor to uh, Hellions coming out. Probably no blue flame. This will probably just be early game harassment. <laughs> um, yeah, and blue flame, or no, any Hellions in the early game are really, really effective, especially against an early expand like this. He needs to get static defenses up, some extra queens, something to deal with this. Yeah, hopefully if Listel uh, can scout the Hellions before there's too many of them, he can throw up a couple evolution chambers in his front to make a little bit of a wall so that they can't just run up his ramp. Yep. It would actually be good positioning on this map to just throw down two Evos in between the ramp. And the first Hellion finishing up for T-Gen. And the command center going down, so it looks like just going to be some light harassment with the Hellions. I'm probably not going to go over the top and uh, just do that while he expands, so good play coming out of our Terran player here. And he does have the spine crawler going down in the front, perhaps sensing some pressure coming in. He hasn't gotten a really good scout on what's going on yet, so... Yeah, um, see, see, see if he has scouted the front. Yeah, I did not see him scout the front, but, um... He has not seen any of the tech, so... Yeah, he does not know what the Hellions are coming right now. We do see a little Overlord 
trying to move in here, getting attacked by a few Marines. The Hellions are moving out across the map right now. They're heading up to the north right now. Um, he is getting a Roach Warren, which will help against these Hellions, but it's definitely not going to be done in time. Yeah. The only defense we have against these Hellions is a sp Spine Crawler, and ooh, those lanes are getting roasted. Yeah, but you know, he delayed him long enough to stop one of the Hellions, but two are still going to get into his base with a good amount of health, and these Roaches are in trouble now. There's a little bit of micro. He's going to be able to get a lot of these workers. So with the workers killed... Getting three workers so far. Um, two more Hellions are joining the fray now. And they're moving oh, in. They're going to no. get some good... Oh, lining them up against these drones. Getting a lot of worker kills. And we got two more right there. And these Zerglings are going to come in. Oh, wow. These Hellions are still alive. Moving around, killing all these Zerglings. That will be the end of the Hellions for now. We can see total workers killed at nine. Yeah, so that was, um, that was a very Oh, nice two more Hellions one. moving around the natural. Oh, oh no. wow! Up to 15, 17 workers killed. Oh, uh, this is this is a really harsh blow to the Zerg player right here. Um, that that is that is a devastational blow. It is to gonna the... be tough for him <laughs> to come back from that now. Um, Terran has his command center up. He's throwing down three more racks, putting that tech lab on the factory, and uh, he's probably gonna be going back into a standard Marine tank composition. <laughs> wow, 19 workers to 25 workers with Terran at advantage. That's a that was a really really fantastic RAS. And he's sending in a couple more more Hellions to kind of park out here for a bit, maybe go in for a little more, see how lucky he can get with those. Yeah, and um, you know, Listel he, he built the Roach Horn out front, but he didn't build it on the same side as his ramp, so it really wasn't helping him wall off that much against those Hellions. Um, it was just kind of sitting there. And um, finally, we see some roaches popping out, but um, we can see the T-Gen is moving into Marine Tank, and uh, these roaches probably won't be too good if he waits too long to attack. I think he really needs to go right now. He's definitely on the back foot with workers. He's committed to the expansion. Yep, and, and there he goes. He's, he's going to go move across the map. Bust. These Hellions are going to come in, probably get shut down really quickly by these roaches. Yep, those Hellions are going to get chased away there. I'm pretty low health. They might not be able to get by the Spine Crawler anymore, so that's actually very good for Listel. Um, and in Whistle's base, we see quite a few Marines and only one siege tank. Um, he, I don't think he has siege tech yet, although I'm not sure. Um, check, check the tech lab. Um, of course, we can with the overlay, so <laughs> he may have siege tech, but I don't think he researched it yet. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it go No siege tech. Whistle coming in here with a big attack. SCV's flanking from the back, and it looks like it's not enough. Oh, oh the servant's just getting grinded in Whistle. Looks like uh, the Dragoons will lose this week's match, uh, three to two. So, yeah, um, you know, and that was really that was some really good Hellion harass there by T Gen. Um, he took out 17 workers there, and um, you know it's really hard to come back from that. I like Listel's uh, attempt to just go all in there, but it didn't end up working out for him. Yep, and uh, that's gonna be it for this week's match. Thanks, anyone. If there's a thank, or thanks everybody. If there's anything we can improve about the stream, just let me know. If the volume's messed up, picture, if it's lagging, just tell me. I'll try and get it fixed. Gonna have Skype support up next week, so if anyone wants to co-cast, let me know or tell uh, Ariel. So, all right, that's it. Thanks.